Throughout California, Cal Fire's firefighters are specially trained to be able to respond to hazardous materials incidents. These types of calls can vary from a small car oil leak to industrial chemical releases that pose a major threat to the public. In Riverside County, Cal Fire has two state-of-the-art hazardous materials response units under a contract with the county. There's very few agencies in California that provide a dedicated hazmat service. Cal Fire's firefighters undergo comprehensive training to become certified hazmat technicians. We train monthly with Riverside County Health Hazmat uh, to keep our skills up. We also train quarterly with different hazmat teams in the county uh, for drills so that we're all familiar with each other's equipment. Once the hazmat team is called out, their training is put to work using an assortment of specialized tools and equipment to identify and mitigate the hazard. Our first step is situational awareness and uh, taking a very slow, cautious approach with hazmats. They're much slower than running into a burning building. By doing that, it allows us to communicate with the individuals that may have seen the product, what the product is, uh, experience, if, if it's off-gassing or if there's a... Uh, chemical reaction taking place, anything that can catch your eye to distinguish it from another product. Though hazmat incidents can vary greatly, CAL FIRE's hazmat specialists are prepared for any degree of hazard. The standard response in Riverside County is uh, quite often illegal dumping, and that can range from batteries to antifreeze to uh, waste oil. Illegal dumping is that illegal, and there's many ways to get rid of it for free. Across the state, CAL FIRE has many units and teams to be able to respond to hazardous material incidents. Having these hazmat units is another resource CAL FIRE has to provide to local cities and counties under cooperative agreements, helping better serve Californians. From the Winchester Fire Station in Riverside County, Daniel Berlant, CAL FIRE TV.